What are we looking for? We are we're just looking for maggots, but oh, no one's here. That fridge. That fridge. Yeah, he can see them all. Well, that's a lot of maggots. Tackle stores vastly different here. Of course, it's fun to come and fish in new waters and fish for new fish, but it's also cool to check out new tackle stores. This is really, really different. Like, really different. I don't recognize anything. I'm lost. It's cool. What do you mean it's cool? <laughs> it's different. Have a good one. See ya. Mate. First uh, UK tackle experience. Money. Although I don't think the owner liked me very much. That's okay though. <laughs> he didn't seem to be amused by me at all. I think it was the accent that threw him off. <laughs> why, See, is, why is that cool? <laughs> I know, yeah. He's like, it's like cool. I don't know. Maggots are cool. I like maggots. You're going to find this particular location, John. You might think it's a bit of a joke at first. You might be like, huh. So we've had a look at the drainage channel. Now where is the stream? But I assure you there are some cracking perch in this little stream. Whether, whether or not this ridiculously hot weather will have just killed the fishing is a different story. But we have caught perch in this stream yeah. over three pounds. Now if, if, if we can catch a couple of, you know, perch like that and a, and a chub or something. Wait, what? Perch like that. That's pretty big. I saw it on your Instagram so the catfish got you. Yeah. Smoked me. Ouch. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't realize you weren't supposed to grab by the mouth until I had my hand in its mouth. Yeah. So with that being said, today we're not going to go after as vicious of a species as a Wells catfish or even a topwater fly carp. It should be a great time. Again, another fish that I've wanted to target since I was a kid. And that's what we're going to do today. So we've got light tackle, big carp rods. We're going to do a lot today, but start off with, like I said, micro multi-species creek fishing. Let's get after it. There's loads of fish. You see them? Oh yeah. Charging, every I see them all swimming underneath there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like They're everywhere. One after another. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of a gudgeon before, but it's one of the biggest fish in this river. It's kind of the reason why Carl, Alex, and I are here right now. Big, big credit. They eat fish. most of what, what is in here, right? They, 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 if you're not careful and you get your, your hands near them, they're gone. So that's the mission today. We're, of course, after Creek Chub, Redfin Perch. But the gudgeon's the one that, like, that's our target. That's the eye on the prize. Cool. You good? So I'm a little nervous. I've never seen one of these things in person before I never really I don't really don't know much about them no one really does they're kind of a mystery but the one thing that we do know is they are in these small rivers and they are hungry it sounds mental but the spot where I was catching them it's just at the top here you see yeah yeah, you'll feel that tap round. Just let it sit or work it. A couple of little twitches won't go in this spot. There's another one. They're really tiny. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Got the nut. <laughs> Are you serious? That's a chunky one. How big is that? That's pretty bad, man. <laughs> no way. I'm freaking out. Look at the size of that perch. I don't know if you guys notice this, but these perch are a lot, and I mean a lot bigger than the ones most of you guys up north are probably used to seeing. This is the one <laughs> that I was anticipating to catch, just not in a uh, not in a tiny little stagnant creek like this. And he ate a drop shot too, easily one of my favorite bass techniques. Wild, absolutely wild. Look at that guy, see if he just fins to come up. They didn't want the worm, they wanted plastic. I know, which is crazy because you thought that the worm was gonna be like the ticket, but the first cast in with this little drop shot bait, he crunched, that is so big, dude. <laughs> like as a US angler catching perch my whole life, this is just so weird to wrap my head around. Get a release? Yeah. Yeah. Going for the release. First ever big redfin. He kicked. Whoa, <laughs> that was so cool. I didn't expect this. That was truly incredible. Let's get another one. One more, yeah. 
Got him. <laughs> Not the big one. <laughs> nice. Carl just smoked another nice one. I know it's supposed to fight really hard too. Yeah, we because we're not because we can't. No way. <laughs> Alex has got one now. <laughs> that was on the real worm. Oh, the I just left it static rather than twitching it. Babby. Whoa. Pretty fish. Wow, you guys are just teaching me what's up. Oh my god, that's a chunk. That's a chunk. Yeah, wow, that's insane. Same sort of size as yours, maybe a teeny tiny yeah. bit bigger. And there's there's a perch in here that's twice as big as this, like more than twice as big. You're, you've got to catch it, basically. Three pounds, in other words. Yeah, yeah. All good? Yeah. Three fish in one little tiny area like that. I mean, if I was walking past this, like just taking a stroll or whatever, I would have never guessed there to be fish in general in there, but even fish that big, it's like, I don't know, it's overwhelming. Cool, I'm gonna pick up the drop shot and yeah, see if I can crank can. another. Oh, 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 there we go. Hold on. Perch. You're working your way through him, John. Yeah, I know, I'm getting a hang of this now. Second perch of the day. Not as big as that first one. This one was caught a little bit different way. We switched from the plastic. Carl expressed that sometimes when they get a little bit pressured, like once you actually start catching three of them out of a small space, but they do get pressures, you have to switch to live bait. So I put a live little red worm on a drop shot, let it sit there for a bit and he took off. I'm speechless. There's nothing more fun and go into a tiny little creek and catching a fish you've never caught before that is in my opinion pretty large but like these two keep saying those are tiny fish so yeah that fish was maybe what six ounces tiny eight ounces yeah, yeah. big in my eyes tiny to you guys the biggest one we've caught out of here was, was a good three three pounds <laughs> three pounds i'll probably cry if i catch one that big No. It's, it's big though. It's, it's, the, it's the biggest one. Biggest one so far. Wow, Alex. <sighs> big perch from what is just a ditch. Hmm. That was on the worm again. Did oh no, maggots. Was it? Yeah, maggots. Look at them. No, John, it was on a worm. A worm. Yeah, stick with the worm, mate. <clears throat> he doesn't need to know about our secret. Yeah, go for a release. Go on, fish. Goodbye. Look at him swimming off. So how many did we catch? I caught two, you caught two. Two, I had one. Five, if I can count correctly, five. Yeah. Five perch out of this, like from basically there to there. Who would have thought, right? We're gonna go find some different fish species and maybe cross paths with another rando perch. This next spot we're heading to should have a quality size gudgeon, which is the target species for today. Every day we're gonna have try to like some sort of fish that we wanna try to capture. That'll be like our daily goal. Yesterday was the wells. Today's obviously the gudgeon, being that it is kind of like the, the river or the creek terrorizer here in the uh, UK. No sign of one yet, but still pretty optimistic. This next pool, this pool right, should have one maybe? Um, or the one down? We're just kind of preparing ourselves now, working our way up there. A uh, little nervous, you know, especially since I thought the perch was a pretty heavy fight. But I'm just stoked about it, showing you one of these fish and just kind of like holding one. I think it'd be kind of cool to get this on camera. Anyway, I'm done blabbering. Long story short, we're getting close to the gudgeon hole. What's a good word for like a, like the gudgeon cave, like the gudgeon, like what's an ominous word I, for I, I place of dwelling? The gudgeon's lair. lair. <laughs> we're getting close to the gudgeon's lair. That's the exact word I was looking for, wow. Where the I'm a little scared. I'm not gonna lie. Take the rod, dip it, dip the float in. Yeah. Wait for the float to. Any push. specific area, like around the brush or? Middle bit. Middle bit. Just because it's a bit deeper on that corner. Shut it down here. You can see Middle the bottom. Bit. It's really shallow. Just. This is what you call getting swerved by a gudgeon. 
It's the only fish this entire trip that we've hyped up. And uh, of course it's the one we can't catch. It makes perfect sense. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. That's actually quite big. <laughs> what, what is, is that? that? What is that? What is it? Oh. Shut. No, no it can't way. Be. It can't be. Yeah? Yeah, it is. No way. <laughs> You are joking. What? That's a pretty fish too. That's a really pretty fish. That's your first comment. That's my first comment, yeah. Mate, fair play. I didn't <laughs> expect you to catch a calf out. I'm looking at a little leaf on yeah. his head. Can you hold him? Yeah, sure. He's a bit slimy. Yeah, then again, most fish are. He's like a pale, like grayish color almost. Mm. Not a gudgeon, but we'll take it. Two perch and a carp so far. My first common carp yesterday were two mirrors on the fly. This one was like a legit catch, although we're trying to catch one of these gudgeons. It was a nice little bonus. Good looking specimen. Love it. No gudgeon in the original gudgeon layer. We're gonna try one last spot, and then from there we're gonna completely move to a different body of water. Correct? Yeah. yeah. And then target what? In particular. In particular. Uh, linear carp. Linear carp. Yeah. Which are. And correct me if I'm wrong or stop me if I'm wrong. A form or a type of mirror carp that have scales that go linear along their sides. Yeah. yeah. That's the next goal, but we still have to try at least one more spot for the gudgeon, as that's kind of why we came here for. But you know, the carp and the perch are like a side, just a side to the main course meal. Main course gudgeon, in case you were in case you didn't get that. So this is last chance. Last chance gudgeon. Gudgeon? That's a gudgeon, isn't it? Yes! Yes! Are you serious? <laughs> and this is what we spent hours trying to catch. How's the hair look? Does my face look good? Look at me. Yeah, of sorts. <laughs> this is pretty badass. This is the moment that we kind of been anticipating all day. I really hope people detect the sarcasm. What do you mean sarcasm? Oh, oh, sorry, yeah. Holy sm- The beautiful- Like, look at the colors on this gudgeon, too. It's like an actually pretty decent sized one. Um, yeah, wow. This is what- Listen to me here. Jokes aside, in all seriousness, this, uh, this was kind of our fun hype for today. It's not quite the species we're after. Although it was on my list, both Carl and Alex expressed how cute these little guys are. They're quite They're quite possibly, seriously. They're quite possibly- <laughs> the most adorable little fish that lurk in these creeks. I mean, look at that little guy. He's got like his little mouth. Get it, uh, you get the barbels. Get his I don't know if he has any. These little guys, uh, they're bottom feeders. The only way you can really catch them is if you do a little micro fishing. And that's what we kind of ended today on. The irony behind all of this is these are actually quite easy fish to catch. Meanwhile, no joke, I've spent the past, it's been an hour, dude, what, hour and a half? <laughs> trying to catch this thing right here. It was easier to catch the Wells catfish and it was the gudgeon. And I'm not even being funny when I say that, but I'm glad I'm able to cross this little guy off my list. These guys are not available in the United States, so it's cool to come all the way over here and experience a little micro fish, arguably the cutest fish in the world. <laughs> gudgeon McGee. Oh, there he goes, did you get that? I think so. Bye. So being that today's gonna be another long, long day, I think I'm probably gonna split this video with what we're gonna film this afternoon. Otherwise, I feel like it'd just be so loaded. And I'm probably gonna be doing more of that throughout this trip, being that the goal and the mission is to fish as much as we can. And with that comes a lot. And I mean like a lot of footage. So, with that being said, I'm gonna stop today's video here. The Creek mission is over. We've accomplished the Elusive gudgeon, cut a decent little carp, my first ever common carp, and nailed about a one pound redfin perch, which in my eyes is super sweet. It's an awesome success. From here, we're gonna tackle some carp and then maybe just, I don't know, get after it really. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, but I think that's all I have for you guys. Stay tuned for part two of today, which will of course not take place on this creek, but on a lake. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I'm gonna go cool off and uh, decompress after that mean gudgeon fight. 
Thanks for watching, and as always, keep fishing, never stop. That, that looks so weird in there. Like no carp I've ever seen before. Yeah. Real dark gray and carp looking like. Yeah. Carpish. Sort of carpy. Yeah, it had that carp look to it. Yeah. Yeah. Gills and fins. Mouth, yeah. <laughs> Where are the gudgeon though, man? Yeah, this is my head in. ridiculous. <laughs> I know you've got to have a go, don't you, too, because it's just so frustrating. <laughs>